Twitter right now is really focused on stripping down to its bare bones. First of all, they cut like half the staff, maybe 80% of the staff. They've turned off microservices just entirely. This happened back in like months ago. There were articles about this where they just start turning off services and seeing what happened. They're trying to do as little as humanly possible. And so I thought to myself, what would Twitter look like if we ran the opposite direction? So let's say here's your timeline. And what Twitter wants to do is it needs to grab the posts that it's supposed to be rendering from somewhere. And it needs to take that data and then it wants to render out these posts. I think we can do better than a single post service that returns back some JSON and we render things on the home screen. Okay, so I am pitching a new type of architecture called that I'm going to lovingly call micro micro services. Here's your microservice. And here is my objectively better microservice. We want to get this, which is our home page. Well, how are we going to render our home page? We have all of these bits to it, right? We've got our post composer. And from our post composer, we also have a timeline. And the timeline needs to render these tweets. I mean, look at all of this that the home page has to be like responsible for that's two whole things that's two whole things haven't you heard of the single responsibility principle i'm gonna put two whole things into my home page not on my watch buddy not on my watch because i am a good developer so i'm gonna make the post composer service and the post composer service is gonna send you back the html required for this and i'm gonna make the timeline service and the timeline service is going to send you back the html required for this but brad but brad the timeline is made up of posts of course which is why our timeline service of course calls our post rendering service and look at how composable it is. Now, what if we wanted to add something to our timeline that wasn't just posts, right? Let's say that we wanna add, I don't know, we wanna add image support, images, or we wanna add ads. We wanna add ads to what you write. Now the timeline can get the HTML for that as well from our ad service, you know? Look how composable that we're making everything. We have an ad service, we have post rendering. It's so composable, everything only does one job. So that means it must be better, right? It must be better. Let's see how the code actually works because I wanna tell you, I'm honestly impressed with myself because so far to render the homepage, we require, I, I want to be clear, five services, five services. And I think those are rookie numbers. I think we can bump that up. So we are going to take Twitter 2.0 and we are going to add a service to it live. So you can see how beautifully ergonomic it is. Right now we have our post renderer and the post renderer just does all of the post all in one spot. Let's make a new icon service, okay? Where we're going to take the icons and we're going to put this into its own service. <laughs> now we can get to what is the insane benefit of this. We can make this a bigger icon. And all we have to do is redeploy our icon rendering service, testing our new icon. And look at that, it's live. I didn't even have to refresh the page. I didn't have to do anything. We've just got bigger icons. And we've successfully gotten our sixth service 
our sixth service involved in loading this page. Thank you everyone for coming to check out our brand new architecture. Ooh.